So this video is to help you revise DNA replication and DNA replication is all about how DNA makes identical copies of itself, so how this molecule copies itself. We met it before in mitosis and cell division and we know that DNA replication takes place in interphase. DNA is this double-stranded molecule and the two strands are attached to each other by hydrogen bonds. So then this double-stranded molecule is twisted into this double helix. So before we go on to DNA replication, let's take another look at the structure of DNA. So we know it's this double-stranded molecule and if we consider each strand is going to be made up of a tower of blocks. Each one of these building blocks is called a nucleotide and a nucleotide in DNA is a molecule that consists of three parts. So it has the 5-carbon sugar deoxyribose, a phosphate group and a nitrogen containing base. And the base can either be adenine, guanine, thymine or cytosine. So now we understand that the building blocks of DNA are the nucleotides and the nucleotides have the phosphate, the 5-carbon sugar deoxyribose and one of these nitrogen containing bases. And what holds the strands together is complementary base pairing. For example, G will only ever bind with C. So it's attracted to C and it's held together by hydrogen bonds, three hydrogen bonds. T with A by two hydrogen bonds and this is what holds the two strands, the double strands together. It's these hydrogen bonds. So step number one in DNA replication is the double helix unwinds. Step number two, the hydrogen bonds between each strand are broken and this separates the two strands. Step number three, this is when those nucleotides, those building blocks, enter the nucleus from the cytoplasm and they're going to attach on to exposed bases on both strands. So if there is an A exposed, a T is going to attach. If there's a G exposed, a C is going to attach and this is complementary base pairing. DNA polymerase is an enzyme that creates the new strands. Step number four, the two new strands twist together to form two identical double helices. So when you look at the two brand new double helices, you can see that they both have one of the original strands from the original DNA molecule, but they also have one brand new strand. So it's called semi-conservative replication for that reason. So that was a very basic summary of DNA replication with a little bit of DNA structure thrown in there as well. Remember, the genetic section of the Leaving Cert paper is significant and you should be able to answer quite a lot of it. Even if you don't like genetic crosses, remember they're only puzzles. If you take your time, you will be able to do them. But even if you don't like those genetic crosses, there should be lots of the genetic section that everybody can answer. And don't forget your practical as well. So the best of luck. I hope everything goes your way and I'll be thinking of you all.